Okay, so I think you guys can see the screen. So here the question says that uh, we have to find the index, something like this. We are given something like five. So what you need to do? Uh, we will not discuss about wave approach in detail, but I think everyone has the idea. This is my final solution. I will write it right directly only. Let's now write the code for this. <clears throat> this is the basic idea. If some of you are having any doubt that once we found the mid, hmm. better guys, this is very first starting of our binary search. Get your doubts clear here as well, even if it is very basic. Okay. So I think you guys can see the screen. So here the question says that uh, we have to find the index of last occurrence, index of last occurrence of element, the element whatever is given in again sorted array. So this is the question. What do we mean by this? Let us see. We mean, let's say we are given something like this. We are given something like five. Uh, or let's change the question. Let's first discuss first occurrence, then we'll discuss last occurrence. So let's say we have to find the first occurrence of element in a sorted array. Okay. This is the question. Okay. Let's say we are given the elements as 5, 10, 10, 20, 20. Okay. And the element that you have to find is 10. So what you need to do? You need to return the first occurrence of this element in an array. So in this, it will be one. So this is our desired output. Okay. So if you see here, 10 has appeared two times at index one and two. We want to give you the first occurrence. So this is going to be our answer. So yeah, if you cannot think of an optimized way to solve this, at least go ahead and thinking of a brute force, then try thinking of optimized way. Again, keeping one thing in mind, like going to the naive approach will be very simple. And you can also see here that this is a sorted array. So you can think in terms of binary search. Uh, you can start pinging me answers in direct message. So uh, we'll not discuss about naive approach in detail, but I think everyone has the idea. This is my final solution. I will write it right directly only. So we run a for loop. Okay, we run a for loop from i equal to zero to i less than n, and then we do i plus plus. I'm talking about the neighbor approach. In this, what we do, we will just have one condition check that if array of i, whatever the element is equal equal to the given element or not. Okay, if it is, then at that point itself we return the i. Correct. And if we don't get, we return minus one. So what we mean by this is, let's say we are traversing our array one by one. Let's say we are at I equal to zero, then that means we are at this five. We see five is equal to equal to 10 or not. It is not. So we don't do anything. Now, when we are at the first in itself, this condition becomes true. And at this point only we return the index, which is one. We don't go ahead only checking for the elements. Okay. So it was pretty simple. I think Sachin, it makes sense for you. Yes. 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 No? Okay. Guys, this is pretty simple. So anyone is having any doubt, please go ahead and ask over it. I will not uh, spend much time on this. Pool. Now let us think how we should approach this question using binary search. So most of you are right. The only thing we have to keep in mind is let's take the above example only. We have five, we have 10. Again, we have 10, we have 20 and we have 20. Okay. Now what will happen? You will do a binary search and you will, you will keep on doing the binary search till you get that element. Let's say keep on dividing and getting that element. So every time there will be two possible cases, either you will reach this element or this element. Correct. Whenever you reach an element, let's say you reach this element first, correct? Because uh, if you see here, this is an odd input array. So here, if you do the mid, we'll get this element only. Now, if you reach this element, this is equal to equal to the mid, uh, not, not mid, but this mid is equal to equal to X, correct? So at this point, how you know whether it is first occurrence or not a first occurrence? The only way to check it is two things. Like whether the element before it is equal to the current element or not. Okay. So let's say we have a some condition like this, or we can say in a high level, it's something like this. If this mid minus one is not equal to mid, what we are saying, we're saying this array of mid minus one is not equal to array of mid. If it is the case, correct. If our array of mid minus one is not equal to array of mid, if this is the case, that means that the element before it is also the same element. In that case, this can never be the first occurrence. Correct. Now let's say when we are at this position, we did some more iterations and we reach this position. Okay. When we reach this position, what happens? We again see this condition. Now in this case, if this is the mid, if this element itself is the mid, then the element before it obviously doesn't match this element. Correct. Then in that case we can say, yes, this is the mid. Okay. 
uh, it makes sense everyone is it clear now i know most of you got it so let's now write the code for this in the meantime others can also keep on writing the code at their point so i'm really appreciated if you can code in less time when you target big companies you are expected to code in less time and better if you code in less time then you have more time to speed so let's say we have to find a first sequence we are given an array as expected we are given the length of the array anyway we can find this but let's say it is given and we are given an x these three things are given what we will do we have the idea the elements are in the sorted array we will use binary search because we have to optimize our big open approach so let's say uh, we have the same idea binary search code is same for everything it's low and high thing and high n minus 1 now we want to do is while low is less than equal to i this is our main code for binary search this will be constant in every question only some of the things will keep on changing but this main code will be constant we'll find the mid low plus i and it is both of their sum by 2 hmm yes good you cannot go through answers now but yeah guys keep on posting better you also code it okay now if array of mid what can be the conditions what can happen i that will be greater equal to or equal if array of mid is greater than x then simple condition if this element is bigger that means we have to search on the left side when we have to search on left side we will do high equal to mid minus 1 pretty straight forward if the element is greater than our mid if the mid is greater than our element that we have to search then we search on the left side so we do high equal to mid minus 1 we will not do else we will do else if because else condition is already there when the element will be same so else if is if the element is smaller than our given element in that case we need to search on the right side so by that what we mean low equal to mid plus 1 well, good now else case what is this else case else case is the case so we have seen about the condition when the element is either greater or smaller now what happens if the element is the same element in that case we need to check whether it is the first occurrence or not so whatever the logic that we have written here array mid minus 1 that logic will come in play so we'll write here if this mid is equal to equal to 0 what i mean by mid equal to 0 that we are talking about the if it is the very first element the boundary is that you have to keep in mind or or we can say if it is not then either the element before it is not equal to array of mid the condition that we have written here if it is not then in that case we can simply return that we can say yes this is the mid in other case as you guys are talking about that as anand and others are thinking like we have to keep on iterating over it so we'll for sure we'll do that as well so we we'll, we'll do high if that is not the case that means we have to go on the left side and we have to keep on searching over it we we'll do else i equal to mid minus 1 We are going on the left side, and here we don't have if else again to go on the right side because see, guys, we have to search for first occurrence, and first occurrence of the element will always be the element on the left side, not on the right side. If we have been talking about something like last occurrence or something, in that case, we would, we could have thought of going on the right side. Okay, this is the basic idea. If some of you are having any doubt that once we found the mid, uh, once we found the element equal to equal to the given element, then why we are going on only on the left side and not on the right side? Because the first occurrence can only be on the left side. we are not looking for all the duplicates we are just looking for the first sequence so this is the case okay let us do one diagram also to make you all clear so let's say what you have you have 5 you have 10 you have again a given 10 then you have 20 again you have a 20 then what is the value of x the value of x is 10 now what you want to do you want to find the first sequence of x let's go through our code what it does so initially our low will be 0 high will be n minus 1 what is n n is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 this is our code what happens for the very first iteration if we talk about very first time it goes in the code low is less than high it finds the mid what is the mid mid is low plus high by 2 it is 0 plus 4 by 2 to get as 2 now what is array of mid you get array of mid as 2 0 1 2 this element itself you get at the very first time which is 10 correct So it will go under. Now this case will be there. This case will be there. We will directly go into this case. So you see, mid equal to equal to zero. No, it is not. Or whether the element before it is not equal to the current element. No, the element before it is equal to the current element. So you go to the else case of this else. It is high equal to mid minus one. So what will happen now? Our high will get updated. It was four initially. Now it will be mid minus one. High will now be one. Now let's talk about our second iteration. What is our low? Low is zero. What is our high? High is one. So what will be the mid? it will be 0 plus 1 by 2 so it will be 0.5 but in integer it will be 0 okay 
Now, when it is zero, what it is talking about? It's talking about this five now. This five. Now, this five it go under. Is array of mate greater than x? No, it is not. If array of mate, which is array of zero, is less than than x? Yes, it is lesser than x. So the value of our low now become mid plus one. Value of our no mid is zero. It becomes zero plus one. It now becomes one. We are going for the very third iteration. What happens now in the third iteration? Our low is one. Our high is one. What will be our mid now? One plus one by two. Now come as one. What happens as this one? Mid is greater than x. One is this ten. Is greater than x? No, it is not. It is lesser than x? No, it is not. Else case because it is equal to x. It says this mid equal to equal to zero. No, mid is not equal to zero. Mid is one. So this case will not be there. But this case will be there. Array of mid minus one. That means this five and ten both are not equal. So it will go under this if case and will return the mid. What it will return? It will return mid. What is mid? Mid is one. So it will return one here. Correct. So from this code we get the output as one. Hmm. Better guys, this is very first starting of our binary search. Get your doubts clear here as well, even if it is very basic.